Hey, good morning, or good afternoon guys, depending on where you are. Um, we first moved in our barn due in uh, beginning of 2021. One of my biggest concerns was internet access. Um, due to COVID, I was working from home at the time, and of course it turns out now, even into 2022, that's kind of been extended. So I was looking at a lot of sites um, like Broadband Now, kind of looking at the area for what was available. We didn't really have an address. We had an address, but it wasn't listed in uh, any of the sites yet because we hadn't went to the post office and requested it uh, be actually added as an address, a deliverable address. So um, it was kind of hard to find stuff. We had people like Frontier came out, um, said we were too far from the office. A bunch of point-to-point -point, uh, wireless people came out and we would have needed to put up a big tower. We did finally find uh, Cumbytel, which is the local uh, telephone co-op for this area. Um, they had DSL available, so we got them to come out. Um, it was actually a little better than this to start with. We were getting about 7 meg down, was about the best we ever got, and 1 meg up. Um, you can see uh, it has slowed down significantly with some construction in the neighborhood and other things going on. We don't get anywhere near seven down now. We still get close to the one up, but we're probably about half of the seven down uh, on a good day. Um, yeah, it is what it is, but that was the best we could do. Um, we dealt with that for about a year. And then I heard from a neighbor about, um, it's T-Mobile's, um, home internet gateway. So we went and picked that up from T-Mobile. We didn't show as being uh, serviceable in their area um, on their maps, but we went ahead and talked them into letting us try it and brought it home and actually have pretty good results most of the time. You can see from this test, it's significantly better than the uh, DSL we're running. Uh, we can get up to about 100 meg down. Um, Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Uh, and up is anywhere from 5 to 30, just depending on the, the time of day and, and, of course, other factors. But, but that's about what we get. And definitely that would be usable. I mean, I would love to have gigged, you know, but I, I'll take what I can get. Um, I'm not going to be too picky about it here, but... You know, one of the problems we have is it's just inconsistent. The DSL we get from Cumbytel is very consistent. It's consistently slow, but it's consistent. But you can see here, you know, with the uh, T-Mobile home internet, it is fast from time to time, and then it gets slow. And it really seems to get slower around the weekend. Um, that, you know, nights and weekends, it's just not near as fast. During the day when there's not too many people home around here, it works really well um, but that's you know just kind of not what we were hoping for from a consistency standpoint and speed standpoint now luckily there are a few vendors starting to come in and put fiber in our neighborhood which to be honest is kind of shocking considering we're out in the middle of nowhere here um, you know in this video you can see this is here they were uh, they had trenched under and uh, they were pulling the uh, the conduit for the fiber and electric and everything. Um, they've came back out since and actually ran some of the fiber into the uh, the boxes there. I don't know that they've spliced it if they need to splice it or put in equipment. Uh, I obviously haven't looked in their boxes, but I can just see they've you know I watched them as they were rolling the fiber out and then putting it in. Um, quite a few boxes just down my little street here. It's about. Uh, almost half a mile down to the to the state road down my little county road here and you know they've got a few boxes in the on the thing and now we're getting close right down at the edge of the street this is the one that's going to connect us into the road um, into the fiber that's at the state road and here's some of the old the pictures of some of the old stuff this is where the DSL is running on some of these old ancient lines and uh, you know, you can kind of get the idea of why we had pretty, pretty bad service, but. <clears throat> and then you can see on this next video here, you start starting to see some of the, 
uh, Spectrum is actually running fiber in our neighborhood also. Now they're running that guide wire there on the bottom. Um, they're going to run their fiber in the, on the poles. Um, okay with that. Uh, it's going to be a lot less expensive than Combitel will be for their fiber access, but I'm afraid it's just not going to be consistent. Here you can see they've actually ran the fiber itself down to the state highway. And now you got to see they got the fiber cold up up there ready to run it down to our house. Um, you know, the other thing that scares me on these next couple of videos is you'll see the uh, some of these lines just go right at the edge of the trees. That kind of makes me nervous. It makes me think it's, it's not going to be very consistent. Um, and of course we're signed up with Starlink. I mean, we signed up with Starlink in February 2021 when they first started taking, uh, letting people pay their $99 down. We were listed as end of 2021, middle to end of 2021. That got changed to mid 2022 and has since been changed to June 2022. Still waiting to get our kit, but that's kind of what we're waiting on. Um, you know, just like anything, I'm sure I'll get. Uh, the go ahead from Starlink and uh, offers from Combitel and Spectrum for the fiber service all about the same time and have to make a choice. But again, that'd be a great problem to have. Thank you guys. Please like, subscribe. Um, we're doing a lot of videos here about the Barndo and all of our uh, good things and bad things going on out here. But anyway, we'd, we'd love to have you join us. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments on any of the internet vendors that were mentioned, feel free to uh, post them in the comments. Thanks guys.